This is going to be a reading for Virgo, my favorite little group of introverts. All right, so <clears throat> this month's going to be focused um, on your love area. So you guys are moving from the solar plexus chakra up to the heart chakra. So the last moon cycle, you guys, uh, you guys accomplished some big things, set some boundaries in your life. Um, you're learning more about self care, self love, learning how to love yourself, you know, versus the, the opinions and approval of others. Um, so some of you guys, uh, but you really went through like setting boundaries. So some of you guys ended up breaking up with your, the partner you were with, and then um, you guys are, have been on kind of on the rocky situation since then. So I'm, I'm getting the this is coming out in reverse. This is a tarot deck that I'm working on. So this would, um, this is some of you guys are actually thinking about getting back together with your ex because Mercury retrograde's coming back. So I see some of you guys getting back with your exes. Um, some of you guys are going to at least, at least see if the relationship is still salvageable. Okay. And this is going to be up to you to decide. Um, I also see a, another group that's uh, going to have a baby. So, you know, so I'm, Put it to where like a long-term and then short-term Virgo relationships right now. So, um, and with the broken relationship, the one uh, you guys are actually going to, most of you guys are going to reconcile. I see this as a Mercury retrograde's way of us uh, slinging back energy your way. I'm also here in Red Barn. So it might be a message for one of you guys. What else do you know? Yeah, you guys need some balance in your life. Focusing on the heart. You need to balance out the heart chakra. All right, so some of you guys are uh, still working through trauma or haven't worked through trauma. Um, you guys, if you stopped, you need to pick it back up. And uh, it's there waiting on you. I can feel it's real heavy. Um, also, some of you guys are really working on balancing your 3D space. Some of you guys are looking for a job. Some of you guys are know you need to get a job and you're just fucking not so get up off your ass and go get a fucking job man i'm telling you it's gonna it's gonna make this next month really shine down upon you all right so all right and then some of you guys are coming out of the month stressed out from christmas um next month is going to be kind of rough on you you're catching up on your bills paying paying off all the money you spent um man don't get stressed out it's just it's just temporary you'll get through it but yeah, with, that might cause broken relationships too. So make sure you're not stressing out your partner this next month when you guys get through, get your bills in and you know you haven't made enough. All right, well, go backwards. Yeah, some of you guys are coming out of a place where you guys were just uh, madly in love with each other, um, and you know I, I don't even see it as something that's not fixable, man. Um, some of you, it's, it's actually a, a soulmate connection, you know, um, there's not a, a bunch of karmic connections. So this is going to be somebody that's a soulmate. So you can, you're either going to choose to stay with them or leave the relationship. Most of you guys are going to stay cause you know how, you know how it feels when you're with the person. Aww. Some of you guys are going to end up getting married once you find out you're pregnant. All right. And you also, some of you guys are at a point where you're feeling like everything's kind of in chaos right now. Okay. Listen, just be strong. Work your, you're working your way out of it. Okay. Just focus on, on something else that's going to keep your mind off it. Don't sit there and stay on those loop cycles of thinking about it over and over again. It's not going to help anything. Um, you know, if the person's distanced themselves from you, some of they have, um, don't bother them right now. Give them some space, man. If you're thinking about fucking calling them, don't, don't. All right. Just sit on it. All right. Work on yourself. This is going to be really important for you to work on yourself. Once you do the work, then there's a possibility of, you know, opening that space for love back up. I, I, there's more to the reading, so shoot me a message and I'll, I'll get you a full reading.